This lesson we're going to be setting up a way to look through all of the files contained within a main folder. So it's going to find files that are also contained within the subfolders. We're going to be using a queue in order to set that up. And it's going to list all of the information out nice and neatly within the spreadsheet. This exercise, we're going to be listing out all the files currently within a parent folder. So we need to select the folder. I'm going to be using this one. I've got a couple folders and some files contained within there. We want to output that information and list it within a spreadsheet. So creating a blank spreadsheet, I'm just calling it files. And now we're ready to start our script. So creating a function and the function is going to be list files and folders. So it's going to list out everything that's contained within that parent folder. Let's select the parent folder ID. And this is the parent folder ID. So this is a string value that I've just copied from that parent folder. And we also want to select the sheet object that we can write to. So selecting the spreadsheet app, we're getting the active spreadsheet. So it's turning back the spreadsheet object. And then we want to get the sheet. So get sheet by name. And the name of the sheet is going to be files. And just make sure that it's spelled the same way. And this is just expecting a string value. And so we want to take the sheet and clear the existing contents of the sheet. And let's set up within the sheet. We're going to append a row. And this row is going to contain the header information. So within an array format, we comma separate the file name is going to be the first column. Uh, the second column, let's add into the second column. So it'll be the file ID. And we can get a lot of different information. So let's also pick up the meme and then we can also have the parent folder. So the parent folder and list that in. And there's also other parameters and values that you can return back. So now we're ready to select the parent folder. So let's select it as an object. So parent folder. And we're going to be selecting it using the drive app service, getting the folder by ID and then using that parent folder ID that we have in order to return back that object. So let's set up a queue for this. And the queue will help process the content and the queue can be done within an array format with an object contained within it. And that object is gonna have the folder and parent folder that we're returning back and parent name for the within the object so parent name and right now we'll just leave the name as blank so equal it to blank and this will initialize the queue for the first search set up the while we've got the queue length and while it's greater than zero we can loop through what we've got currently so within the current and we're taking it out of the queue. So shifting the contents. So this is going to get the first item in the queue. And then we return it back as files. So from the current item, we're getting the files from that object. And then we want to loop through the files. So this is an iterator. So files has next. And while it does have next, then we can iterate through the content. So we return back the file object and we get that using the files next iterator. So it's going to return back the file as an object. And then within the sheet, we'll append a row into the sheet. And then this row is going to contain that information where we've got the file and get name of the file. File and let's get the ID of the file. We want to use file and the, get the meme type as well. So get meme type. And these are all the default ones that you can get. Uh, also, we've got the current folder. So that's uh, within the current queue. And that folder is the parent folder. And we can get the name of that current parent folder where we do the get name. And we can return back details about that parent folder as well as we've got it within the queue. So let that loop through and let's uh, grab the subfolders where we're going to check to see if the current has any 
folders. So the current folder get folders, and that's going to return back any additional folders that are subfolders of the parent. And we can also do the return back an iterator. So we're going again with the subfolders and we're checking to see if it has next. And if it does, then we're going to select the next subfolder within that main folder and grab the subfolder and subfolders next will return back that particular folder and then we want to add that into the queue so pushing it into the queue and this will allow us to select all of the subfolders as well and uh, we can list them out so it's going to return back and the folder is going to actually be the subfolder and then we've got the parent name is going to be the current folder and get name and this actually should be current folder get files and I just also spot another error there that this should be comma separated and also this should be lowercase so save that and let's try it out and it finished the execution listed out all of the files the file IDs and the meme type and also the parent folder for the files let's create a new folder and we'll drop a file into the new folder and run the code again and we see that we're able to actually access the file within the subfolder.